Hello, I'm Pastor Caleb, and I'm here with Sean McFeely from Oasis Ventures. And uh, we're going to share with you just a, a neat opportunity for you to um, be shining a light um, through camp ministries. Yeah. Um, so Oasis Ventures started to, um, to purchase and sort of um, continue the ministry that the Oaks Camp has had. We have right. a couple um, missionaries in our church who serve at the Oaks Camp. The Meitlers have served there for years. Mm -hmm. um, Mario and Heather Corrado serve mm -hmm. there. They attend our church. Um, and so I want you to share with us just to start out a little bit about um, what is Oasis Ventures? Yeah, Oasis Ministry Ventures was started in October of 2020 to really meet the need we saw because of closures that were happening due to COVID. And the biggest um, closure that we are aware of was the Oaks. Mm -hmm. And as a, for, as a former program director of the Oaks for 12 years, it just broke my heart to see the doors close when the decision was made in August to um, spin it off as fast as possible and to release the staff. And so a group of us who are former staff, counselors, board members, we got together and said, we need to do something about this. This is a real kingdom treasure and mm -hmm. we need to figure out how we can buy this gem and put it back to use for the kingdom. Because it's a purely great, viable ministry. And if it weren't for a strategic shift in the organization and the effects of COVID, you know, the Oaks was doing great. Mm -hmm. So so my, my next question is, is what, why did you start Oasis Ministry? Sort of what's the passion behind this? Yeah, um, the passion behind it is the Oaks is a unique place in Southern California. Mm. And with it closed, it's going to leave a huge hole for the body of Christ, for the church at large, but also among the underserved, among the urban poor, where um, they found a home and a place and a welcome and an understanding and a program that was uniquely designed for them that really is hard to find in the country. And so um, that idea of building urban disciples is really worth my time. I can't think of anything else I'd, I'd rather be doing than to raise the funds to purchase the Oaks and to reopen it. Yeah, it, talking to people who work there, they would tell me frequently that they'd have youth come in from the inner city who'd see stars yeah. for the first time. And what's interesting is this is probably, you know, the shortest drive you can go on yeah. and see stars. Yeah. And it's amazing. We have beautiful mountains surrounding mm -hmm. L.A., there's not a camp like the Oaks that we can go into the inner city for kids who've never been out of the concrete jungle yeah. and show them God's creation. Yeah. Um, there's something about God's creation that shouts the glory of God mm -hmm. that you don't see when you're in that cement jungle. Yeah. Um, and we as, as creatures need to see mm -hmm. our creator's handiwork. Yeah. And so this is, this is an amazing opportunity to take kids out of their mm -hmm. context and get them out there. I was a, a public high school teacher for many years, oh, great. and um, I would take my cross country team um, like to the beach, and they'd never been to the beach before. Yeah, and I think that sometimes we can sort of take things for granted. We can take these experiences for granted. Yeah. Um, one of one of the blessings I have here is in all of our camp ministries. If you talk to a lot of the young people in our church and you say, "Hey, share your testimony," they'll say, "Well, I was at camp." Yeah. That's usually where it starts. Yeah. Um, so it's an amazing opportunity for us to. Sow seeds of of the gospel. Um, so this yeah. is this is a ministry you want to keep going. My my last question has to do with with the how. So how can we as a church? How can local churches partner with Oasis Ventures to maintain the ministry that's going on at the Oaks? Yeah, um, you can go to savetheoaks.camp to really just begin your journey of seeing how you can help. Um, so savetheoaks.camp is our website, and it'll lead you through the different steps of how you can get involved. So um, the biggest need right now is we're trying to work out a deal with the parent organization in order to, to purchase it. And that's going to require um, a significant amount of money. And so we don't have a, a purchase agreement yet, but we are in dialogue. And so we're excited about that. So pledging, um, if you're not ready to give actual money now, you can pledge on our website or you can give and then spread the word. Um, so much was going on with COVID that the closure of the Oaks kind of got lost in the background mm -hmm. noise of, of everything else. And so um, a lot of churches that used to go there are calling now to try and rebook. And they're like, what? The Oaks is closed? So you could just spread the word in this community and in your family and, and your work community even just to let them know, hey, this amazing camp that used to serve the urban poor and the church at large. Um, it wasn't because of financial reasons per se. It was a strategic shift. You know, they had a balanced budget plan for 2020. 
it, but it had to close, and we want to reopen it, so, so come help us. Um, and we have a great media kit that uh, you can get to help share the word on social media, uh, letters that you can send out. I, I mean, we have uh, a professionally done uh, campaign brochure you can share and, and videos. Yeah, that, that networking component is huge yeah. um, because you're right. A lot of people didn't even realize that yeah. Oaks was being shut down. We knew because we are supporting yeah. the missionaries who go yeah. there. Yeah. So they're communicating with us all, all along the way. Um, but there are so many churches, there's so many ministries that minister to inner city kids mm -hmm. that they don't have anywhere to go now. Um, and so don't. getting the word out so that these people can realize, oh, we need to, we need to mobilize our mm -hmm. supporters to come alongside and... Yeah. Social media is powerful, so getting that it, word out can be really effective. It is, effective. yeah. I mean, we're trying to reach uh, over a thousand in our Facebook group, um, Save the Oaks Camp. So you can look for that and join, and that's the most, the best way to stay up to date on what's happening, even day to day. So um, please join us there, become a part of our community, community, so you can be praying for us and just seeing how God's moving. That is awesome. I really appreciate the work that you're doing. Um, and we'll be sharing this with our community here and, mm -hmm. and hoping that we can get the word out yes. so that we can continue this ministry. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Yeah, thanks you.